I just got an alert on my phone saying that there's a high winds warning, so it said to uh, seek shelter and stay inside. Look at this rain. This is just kind of crazy. Uh, I just got an alert on my phone saying that there's a high winds warning. Uh, trees are coming down, branches are falling off the trees, uh, and really, really windy, so it said to uh, seek shelter and stay inside. Well, that's a little bit of a problem when you live in a van. So I did the next best thing that I could do. I just drove over to a mall here and, and parked in an area that is away from any trees and hopefully away from anything that might blow into me. Uh, it's about all I can do, really. Um, weather doesn't seem too terrible, but it is a little bit rainy and the wind is gusty at times. So normally I don't mind a little rain, and in fact I like a little rain. I've got a rain jacket I can uh, put on and stay dry. Uh, I've been wearing it quite a bit the last couple of weeks uh, with all this crazy weather we've been having. Uh, but I really don't like winds. Um, wind is the one thing that kind of uh, both irritates me a little bit and makes me a little bit nervous because uh, like that alert that I got on my phone does mean things can just blow into my van and that's, uh, that's kind of a scary thought. So um, I don't really have much of a choice today. I don't want to be out and about in this uh, walking around. Uh, that, that seems like it'd be even worse if I was out walking around. So um, I'm going to do the next best thing and just have a day inside. Uh, not the kind of thing I normally like to do, but um, I do have some work I can do. Uh, seems like the, the weather is affecting the, my cell service, so we'll see how much work I can get done, but at least I can kind of chip away at it um, again. That's all I can do. I'm not crazy about this parking spot. Uh, the angle of it is a little bit weird, but um, it's good because I'm away from all the trees around, so I think I'm just gonna stay here even though I don't like the spot so much. Um, and now I'm gonna climb in the back. Uh, I know sometimes people tell me it's too bad I can't go through. I can, I have a pass through here. This uh, curtain, I know it looks like it's solid, but the, it's actually uh, two curtains. It, and then behind that is a sleeping bag with a zipper. So I can open it up, but see, it's tight here. Like this is a minivan. I don't think people realize that this is a minivan and there's not a lot of space. So unless you're really good in keeping up on your yoga, kind of hard to fit through the spot so I'm just gonna do what I always do it just takes me a second to get from my door to the other door because the door that I use is on the driver's side so I'm just going out the driver's door into the back drive driver's side door I'm confusing myself let's just do this get it over with it's really not that bad outside it's just gusty at times and then uh, and then the wind kind of dies down a little bit so it's hardly raining much at all it is a little chilly though so in anticipation of being stuck in one spot for a bit here today uh, I went over to Trader Joe's before I drove over to this parking spot just to hang out for a while here and ride out the storm um, and I figured I'm gonna want some things to snack on. I know I need to focus on work, but uh, I need some things to snack on. So I bought some potato chips. These are those uh, olive oil uh, potato chips from Trader Joe's. I really like these. And at a buck 99, um, they are a nice inexpensive snack. Uh, and also bought some almonds. I, need, I think I need to start buying more almonds. Um, the price is actually fairly decent at Trader Joe's. I just, uh, I always look at the price of them and go, ooh, you know. Uh, but yeah, I think the price is fairly decent with them. So almonds, because quite a bit healthier of a snack than uh, potato chips, obviously. And uh, 
as a not so healthy snack, I did buy some cookies. These are vegan cookies that Trader Joe's sells. And um, I don't know if you're aware of who makes these cookies. These are actually made by a company called Uncle Eddie's. And you can buy them. They come in the same look of, of bag at uh, natural food stores, health food stores. Um, Whole Foods used to carry them. I don't know if Whole Foods carries Uncle Eddie's vegan cookies anymore because they've now changed to more of an Amazon model. So they're not really a natural food store anymore, but um, they used to carry them. And I think they were about $10 a bag, nine to $10 a bag uh, for the Uncle Eddie's uh, version. Uh, but if you go to Trader Joe's, you can get them for $4.99 a bag. Half of the price, right? Um, so these are an occasional indulgence and I wouldn't have bought these except that I'm sitting here riding out a storm so I figured uh, it's a good enough day to buy these. I bought these recently although I didn't really admit to it when I bought them but anyway I have them now and I'm admitting to it now um, but they're actually decent cookies. They're one of the few cookies that I can eat and not bother me like I can eat three four of these and they're a little on the sweet side but the ingredients are actually pretty good on them, and I feel good after I eat them, where most packaged cookies, if I eat them, I usually am down for two, three days with a migraine, and so I just don't buy cookies normally. Uh, and being that I don't have an oven, I can't make them myself, so these are a nice alternative. And then I made some pasta the other day, and I have not been finishing off the pasta uh, jar of pasta sauce that I bought because I'm not crazy about pasta. I eat it once in a while and then I remember why I don't buy it or why I don't eat it very often. Um, so I bought some polenta at Trader Joe's. I didn't realize how inexpensive Trader Joe's polenta is. Uh, buck 99. Uh, and it's organic. It's kind of mind-boggling. Anyway, um, maybe this will get me uh, to finish off that jar of pasta sauce that I opened up, or at least get into the jar of pasta sauce. Uh, but all this is fine and good, but you know what we need right now? Coffee. Coffee. Yeah. Well, I have some terrific coffee I've been working on right now. I'm actually burning through it quite quickly. Um, I'm a third of the way through this tin. Um, this was a really good deal. Uh, Groundwork is one of my favorite coffee companies, and I bought this one mostly because of the deal. It was uh, $9 for a full pound. And you know, w with specialty coffee, it's, they hardly ever sell it by the pound anymore. It's usually sold in smaller containers. So it was cool that I could find a nice big full pound size. Uh, and get a really good deal on it. I don't know why it was such a good deal, but it's pretty tasty. Um, it's uh, Peruvian coffee, full organic. I normally don't care if a coffee's organic or not, personally. I'm really more interested in the price of it and the taste of it. I, I'm saying that backwards though, aren't I? I think I'm more interested in the taste of it and then the price of it after. Um, but this one, runs a really nice balance of uh, being really tasty, uh, but it was also a really good price. So um, kind of wish there was another Bristol Farms where I bought this around. I think Bristol Farms is only down in Southern California. Um, I bought this back when I was just leaving Southern California and uh, uh, just now cracked into it this past week and boy, I've just been enjoying this so much.
I'm using my standard uh, clean canteen mug instead of my fancy uh, handmade Polish mug. Um, I've been using this occasionally, but uh, on colder days like it is today, it is kind of nice to have a double insulated mug like this one is because uh, it keeps my coffee warmer longer. So I, I can let it sit, especially because once I start editing, uh, I get my nose in my iPad and I just don't really pay attention to anything other than what I'm doing and my coffee will sit and cool off and uh, this coffee actually tastes really good cold uh, believe it or not it's just such a good quality coffee it just tastes good cold or hot but uh, on a chilly day out like it is today I want a nice hot cup of coffee to sit up to sip on so um, I'm gonna try to keep this as warm as possible uh, even if I do what I normally do and let it sit and forget about it uh, it's a nice thing about this double walled insulated mug I have and then I do have a lid for it too which does help keep it uh, warmer although it does affect the flavor if you uh, put the lid on it then you're not smelling the coffee quite so much and then it kind of mutes the flavor of it a little bit that's why I've been looking for a different mug um, but uh, this one works perfectly well See how we did. Okay, that turned out pretty good, but then again, I did use my AeroPress, and the AeroPress always makes really good coffee, so I uh, shouldn't be surprised with that. Um, I'm gonna get into these cookies here. I might as well uh, just open them up now, but I'm only gonna have one. I promise, just one. These are just the best cookies. If you haven't had these, they're just so amazing. Uh, I think every Trader Joe's carries them, and uh, some Trader Joe's carry a couple of varieties. They carry a chocolate chip with walnuts in it, and then these are my favorite. These are oatmeal chocolate chip. Uh, they do have coconut in them, so I, I have given these to a few people to sample, and they were not happy because of the coconut, but I actually like the coconut. I think it adds a little extra something special that you don't get uh, with a regular cookie. <laughs> Only one for now. I'll finish off that bag probably tonight, <laughs> to be honest. Okay, now it's time to get to work. Um, got my iPad out. This is my iPad, see it's got my name on it and everything. Kinda nice, huh? So, I will try to focus as much as I can. I have a hard time editing because uh, I'm dealing with a lot of audio editing and uh, if it's really noisy, windy, and rainy like it is today, it's pretty difficult for me to edit, but at least I can get this started and get a good base on it, I guess, uh, but uh, we'll see how far I get on this, but anyway, here we go. I've already lied. This is my second cookie. That first one was really good, but they're tiny little cookies, so I can have two. Um, normal cookies are bigger, right, than these, so technically, technically I haven't lied because a normal cookie would be uh, twice the size, so this is still one cookie. So there, I haven't lied. Uh, did I mention where I'm at? Um, I am still in Santa Cruz, if you have been following my little, uh, my little adventures lately. Um, last week I was talking about uh, coming here to Santa Cruz and just really falling head over heels over the city. Uh, it's funny because I've been doing as much as I can to get out of larger cities and into smaller towns and trying to get out into more wilderness type areas, but um, I do have some I issues, health issues, that make it easier for me to stay around places that have stores that I can get, the food I'm supposed to eat. Um, I'm actually looking for a health food store right now. There's a few here in Santa Cruz. I just haven't been able to find the thing that I need to buy. Uh, 
but uh, Santa Cruz has still been really good, I think, for uh, just stores that I like to shop at, uh, lots of places to park uh, at night and during the day. So I'm just totally enamored with the city. It's just an incredible place. Um, not far from San Francisco, and I've not really ever been too fond of San Francisco, but the whole thing about that is I'm from Southern California, and growing up in Southern California, we always kind of thought of the state as being two different states. Northern California was just a different place. Um, of course, it's very different uh, weather-wise and uh, terrain-wise and everything. I'm from the desert, you know, this is, uh, this whole area is very different from what I'm normally used to seeing. So I haven't really had anything really against San Francisco, but um, it's just not been a place that I've spent much time just because I've been living far away from this area. But uh, now with being in van life, I can kind of move around a little bit and kind of spend some time in places that I like. And then if I don't like them, I just move on quickly. But I'm still here in Santa Cruz just because this is, I think, probably my favorite city uh, that I've found so far. Uh, and I'm, I'm making a distinction there and saying that my favorite city, there's towns that I like better. But as far as cities go, I don't think it gets any better than Santa Cruz. Um, except don't come here. It's just a terrible place and, and you wouldn't like it at all. <laughs> okay, well, I have gotten a little bit done but uh, I'm feeling a little bit stir-crazy uh, sitting here in the van. I'm normally out and about, or at least if I am doing some editing, I'll do a few minutes of it, get out and at least stand up and move around a little bit. I'm not doing that here today because of the weather outside. Um, so I'm getting really stir-crazy. Uh, also, the cookies are, have been a bit of a distraction but I have not gotten back into them. I've only had the one. And yes, we decided that I just had one because, you know, two basically equals one cookie, right? So we're, we're, all, we're all on the same page on that. I, I know that. Uh, almonds are good. I got into those. Those are very tasty. Um, but I just cannot get over the fact that uh, I'm, or I can't kind of ignore the fact that I'm getting stir crazy. Uh, plus, it's really getting chilly, so I had to put my jacket back on uh, because it's it's pretty chilly in here. Um, I did think about making another cup of coffee, but I had a better idea. Since I'm at the mall here, I might as well just walk over to the mall. I can walk around inside the mall. Uh, should be okay. It's not ideal, obviously. It's uh, not a place I really enjoy uh, walking around. But under the circumstances, walking around in a mall is better than just sitting, going stir crazy in here because it can't really focus on what I'm editing just because I want to get up and move. So uh, I'm going to just brave the little walk over to the mall, then I can walk around, stretch my legs. Hopefully that will get me energized to come back here and do more editing. Let's find out. waiting a second for the rain to kind of die down a little bit and the wind to die down a little bit, but I think this is probably as good as it's going to get today. You know, oddly, as dark as it is today, um, I'm still pulling in quite a bit of solar. Uh, last I checked, I was getting over 200 watts already. I mean, we are kind of late in the day, but I'm really surprised at how much solar I've been getting uh, on such a dark rainy day. But it just goes to show you, as long as your electrical needs are minimal, um, solar can work. I've been saying this for a long time, even though people keep telling me to get my alternator hooked up to my battery. I just don't think that I need it. Um, and a day like today is good proof of that. Malls are just so depressing. Uh, half the stores in there are either closed or uh, just empty. Um, but <laughs> at least it was warm in there. And I sat down and did some emails, took care of some emails. So, uh, you know, it's okay. 
and you know I was able to walk around a little bit but it's actually uh weather's not feeling too bad right now it's um still a little rainy obviously still a little windy but almost seems like it's better than it was earlier Well, I'm feeling a little hungry, so I think I will get dinner started early. And I might as well break into that polenta that I bought at Trader Joe's so that I can use up... This is not working. I, uh, I, I really like this rain jacket, but the first thing that... The first problem I had with it was the little uh, hang loop just got ripped out uh, and I think that happened within the first week or two of me owning this rain jacket but it's a really nice rain jacket uh, made from uh, made by REI I think it's the Rainier uh, model and I really like it except that I have no hang loop so even though I've got all these hooks to uh, hang up stuff really hard to hang this up anyway what was I saying oh um, yeah I need to eat up that uh, jar of pasta sauce, so I'm just going to do uh, the polenta I bought. So I'm just going to give these a quick fry up in some olive oil. I'm going to be pretty uh, healthy on the olive oil here because I really want to get some color on these. Um, I bought some polenta not too long ago, and I was talking about how I wasn't crazy about it, but I did realize if I really fry it up good and get some real good color on it, then it is a lot uh, tastier. So that's what I'm gonna do here. Just really take my time and try to get uh, as much color on these as I possibly can. Okay, so I've got these cooked off. I got some nice color on them. Uh, not that you can tell since it's, uh, this is hot. I do this every time. I always forget to grab this. I keep a uh, pot holder right here, but then I never remember to use it. Okay. Um, yeah, so I got, got some nice color on the little medallions here, but not that you can tell because I just drenched everything with some of that uh, marinara and then as much out of there as I can and then I'm gonna toss some uh, parsley on top of here and well this is not much to eat is it I, don't, I didn't realize uh, oh well I'll make something else I guess later and then I'm gonna Add a nice little bit of nutritional yeast on here. Kind of my go-to when I eat pasta type things, and I kind of, I don't know, this is sort of like pasta, just because of the marinara sauce. Let's give it a try. Ooh, it's hot. Why am I surprised? <laughs> mm-hmm. I like it. I like it a lot. I just wish I had about mm, three times as much, <laughs> but it's good. I just finished dinner, which is good, but uh, was too small. I'm already snacking on my almonds. Glad I got these. I'll need to make something else for dinner later. Maybe we'll call this first dinner. I don't know what second dinner will be. Uh, the polenta was good. I still have the other half of that package, but I think I'll just save that for tomorrow's either lunch or dinner. Find something else. It's kind of a soup day today, so I'm almost feeling like I should put some soup on. Or chili mm, soup. I don't know. One of those would be good. It's still cold and wet out, so... Uh, Definitely feeling like it's a soup day.
Okay, I've gotten some more editing done. Got a good chunk of it finished. I am uh, pleased with myself for that. Not done yet. I've got hours of that to go, but uh, got a good start on it. Um, it's really getting chilly, and I haven't taken my jacket off because it's it's chilly enough that I've needed to keep it on. Probably should have made another cup of coffee. Should I do that now? That's the question. I think I want another cup of coffee right now. I ate my dinner. I'm good. And I've got cookies that I can uh, use with the coffee. So yeah, let's do coffee. Well, I have a little thermometer up here in my cabinet that uh, is reading 55 degrees. I don't think that's accurate. Um, it feels like it's maybe in the high 40s in here, uh, but I'm not sure. I mean, it says 55. Um, I've, I've had my doubts about that thermometer for a long time, so I have it kind of stuffed back in the back of the cabinet, and I don't pay too much attention to it just because I don't really trust it. I should probably one of these days get a uh, more reliable thermometer because sometimes I want to know. But other times I think maybe it's better I don't know because if I don't know, maybe I'll think it's warmer than it actually is. <laughs> okay, I've got a fresh cup of coffee and a cookie or two or three or four. We know how that goes. Um, I think uh, if I... I'm going to be doing this smart. I should probably go find a parking spot right now and get back to my editing. I got a good chunk of that editing done, but I should probably uh, just really get back to it and try to get on top of it a little bit more. It's not like I'm going to be out and about walking. It's starting to get dark now and starting to get more chilly. Uh, so probably should just get out of the mall parking lot here and go find a place to park for the night. Um, it's getting chilly enough. I want to get my heater on too, so that's another reason I just want to find a parking spot and get set up for the evening. Um, I wasn't going to vlog today. This was kind of a spur of the moment thing just because I had that notifi notification come through on my phone saying that there was this uh, weather alert. I get these from time to time and I thought that this would be just a good time to show you how I deal with these. Um, it's nothing that I worry about very much. Uh, if there's some weather alert that is actually going to affect me, like today, it, it was possible that it would affect me just because if I was parked under some trees, I could have a branch that fell down and uh, damage something. I do have a solar panel on my roof that uh, I worry about. Uh, in situations like that, um, as well as my windshield, of course, although that needs to be replaced uh, at some point, so um, that wouldn't be the end of the world if that uh, needed to be replaced sooner than later, but um, don't want to have to deal with that, uh, especially if it's rainy or something, too. So um, when I get these alerts, I just deal with it, uh, and I don't feel like I am in any more danger being in a van than I was in my house. Uh, I think in, in my mind, uh, if I had a home that was fixed someplace, I might be in a worse situation because I can't just pick up and go. Uh, the last couple of months I've been traveling and just letting the weather kind of dictate my travel. Uh, if I know it's going to be super stormy in one area, I don't go to that area. It has affected where I have uh, wanted to go. I was going to go up to the mountains uh, about three, four weeks ago, and I decided not to do that, and they got dumped in snow, and so there's just a perfect example of we have tools available to us and that we can check the weather, we can check road conditions, all that kind of thing, and uh, again, it's no more dangerous, I don't think, being in a van. And in my mind, uh, it's kind of an advantage for me that I can just kind of move around and avoid the, uh, the harder hit areas. So that's why I did this little vlog today. Um, this wasn't a terrible day, but I would prefer to be out and walking around. Uh, but there again, I had work to do that kind of needs me to be sitting down. 
on nice days, if it's really nice, I'll take my iPad out and maybe take a battery pack with me and just edit outside. Uh, I do have some headphones that I can put on uh, to help with the noise situation. I, I can't really wear those very often, but um, they kind of affect uh, my ears. I have a little issue with my ears. So I try not to wear headphones if I, uh, unless I absolutely need them, but um, these are all things that I do. And I do just watching the weather and just being mindful of where I am and, and uh, taking advantage of uh, the times that I'm in nice weather and be out. Uh, not going to be any nicer tomorrow, I don't think, although I think the wind is supposed to die down tomorrow, but still supposed to be rainy all day, uh, I think for the next few days, it looks like. Um, not a problem. I'll stay busy. I've actually got more little little things to clean and little things to fix in the van. There's always something, uh, so uh, I will be plenty busy over the next few days, but hopefully I'll be able to get out uh, and walk around a little bit more. Anyway, I'm going to go uh, find a spot to park for the night and get my heater on because my toes are cold right now. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it.